This is the future home and current home of the uh, Compassionate Care ALS Education and Retreat Center. A dream that I've had for, wow, 17 years now, I think. It is a uh, place for families living with ALS can come and rest and find quiet and find solitude. It's a place where caregivers can come, wives, husbands, friends of individuals living with ALS that are looking for a place to rest. If families are coming here and need assistance, we'll have a whole list of resources for them. We've worked with over maybe almost 1,300 ALS families, mainly here in Massachusetts and New England, but many other parts of the country, from California to Colorado to Michigan to uh, Missouri to Florida to Texas to Tennessee, and on and on. If people call us, we do our best to follow up, even with a phone call. Another piece that I'm wanting to do here is offer, in the off seasons and winter time, a place where our medical doctors, our researchers, could possibly come here and utilize this place uh, for leadership conferences or workshops uh, with their staff, a way for them to get away. At the same time, what we utilize the facility for are our education programs. Uh, caregiver to caregiver gatherings, men of ALS gatherings, women of ALS gatherings. So the facility is tailored to the physical, emotional, and spiritual needs of individuals living with ALS. And what I'm asking for is the support, right? Um, to me, this is a no brainer. This is a continuation of the programs that I've envisioned for Compassionate Care ALS for years and years and years. It's really, really important. What we're creating here is a non-institutional setting. This is something that must happen and will happen, and I'm asking you to be part of it. And this is a small way of doing it uh, for the people, for the people. Thank you for your consideration and please help us make this happen. Thanks.